Boosie, your boy don't know how to fight. Need to do that T.I. little yellow mother the long hair freak. If I go to jail, it's going to be for something. It's going to be for something. I don't play no police game, man. I ain't really got no, I ain't really, you know, I ain't really got no opinion on them. Because, you know, my opinion can send me to prison. What's good, Rizzo fam? Charleston White just cannot seem to stop these days, man. This whole year, he's been all over the place with calling folks out left, right, and center. However, ever since he spoke on Boosie and his son, things got a little bit more complicated. So much so that Charleston's even got Boosie on his back right now, telling him not to mess with his family or it might just be the last thing that he ever did. See, things are getting quite heated between Boosie and Charleston White. Even though it all kicked off as one comment and passing from Charleston, his words really came back to bite him. He's been threatened a lot lately because of what he said, but perhaps it's exactly what he wanted. Let's rewind the tape a little bit and see where this whole drama between Charleston Boosie and Boosie's son Tootie Raw and a couple other people too really started. Maybe then we'll understand things a little bit better. So everyone knows that Charleston's pretty much beefing with the rappers and entertainers who are better known to the world by the names of Boosie Badass and T.I. Problems came about after Charleston commented on Boosie and T.I.'s kids. He had only bad things to say about the two. This was one of his first comments. Boosie, your boy don't know how to fight. Need to do that T.I. little yellow mother the long hair freak. That little don't know how to fight either. Look at them y'all babies is rapping babies. If you're wondering why these comments came about in the first place, well, let's just say that Boosie and a lot of other folks too had something to say about Kanye West after his latest controversy. After Kanye came out of the premiere of his fashion show in Paris wearing a White Lives Matter sweatshirt, Boosie went off on Kanye. He could not believe that someone like Ye would be disrespecting the black community in any way like that. Boosie immediately hopped on Twitter and shared his opinion with all his followers and this is what he tweeted. You just can't keep using your platform to shit on your own race like this? This is sad. And the black people who support you are even sadder. Last time speaking on this, Kanye West doesn't like black people. Do us a favor and bleach your skin all why? Thanks. And of course, he topped it all off with this. After all we've been through as a race, you put this disrespectful shit on. You give no f**ks about how blacks have died and suffered to the hands of the white man. You say Bush don't like black people. Needless to say, Ye lost all the respect he once had in the eyes of Lil Boosie. However, one of the people who took Ye's side was Charleston White. He was right there with Ye. He also said that Boosie has no right whatsoever to talk to the damage being done about black people. Why? Well, according to Charleston, Boosie did way more damage to his community and to his people than Ye ever will. Charleston thinks that Boosie didn't get the message that Ye was trying to tell everyone. If you ask him, Ye was actually trying to say that all lives matter, white and black. In a recent interview, Charleston White White said this in Ye's defense. He said he'll slap Kanye West. That's where he was wrong, get homie. Yeah. Why slap him for what, nigga? When you had a 15-year-old hitman, nigga, that murdered black people. The little kid got life without parole. Why would he slap Kanye West, a man with biracial white children, embracing the concept and the notion that black and white lives matter? It's a known fact that a lot of people follow and support Charleston on his mission to improve his community and basically the whole world. Some folks believe he was totally right with everything that he said. We gotta fix our community first before we talk about racism. I'm with Charleston. He got the rappers in a chokehold. They contributed to the destruction of our communities and minds. But as y'all already know, Charleston didn't stop there. He also took it out on Boosie and his son Tootie Raw. He's also included T.I.'s son King Harris in the mix too. He thinks these two kids are just spoiled, rotten little rich rapper boys. As a matter of fact, Charleston believes that if the two of them continue down the path that they're on right now, they're both gonna end up in jail, drugged up, or both. He thinks they're trying way too hard to be like their fathers, even though they were really no role models in their youth. Naturally, these types of comments provoked a certain kind of reaction when it comes to Boosie and T.I. Not just that, but Tootie and King weren't so quiet themselves. They had their own messages for Charleston White and his negative comments. First in line was T.I.'s son, King Harris. He thinks Charleston's got no idea what he's talking about and that he ain't nothing but a snitch. This is what King's message to him said. Charleston White, you was a bitch, boy. Man, we ain't about to whoop your ass when you come back down here from telling. I can see you had a soft upbringing. For some kind of context, King said that Charleston was telling because he's known for talking to the cops when he feels threatened. Charleston even talked to the boys in blue about King too. He told the Atlanta PD that he was threatened by King Harris and then he sent him the video with the threat. <sighs> 
But he wasn't just talking to the cops, he also took matters into his own hands. After King said that he would come for Charleston, he addressed King with some serious threats of his own. He told King that he is a goner if he pulls up on him. Say, T.I., listen, if your boy jump on me, y'all will bury that yellow motherfucker. I shoot him right in his goddamn throat. Look, I wish, I wish an 18, 19 year old nigga would jump on me. Boy, I Trayvon Martin, that little motherfucker. I swear to God. At this point, he felt like he had to get involved. His name was circulating all over social media and the internet. He was called out for several reasons, from being a poor parent to keeping quiet about direct threats to his son. If you thought the T.I. wouldn't come straight back at Charleston White for things he said, well, you'd be very much mistaken. Of course, he did come at him, and he told him that he should back the f*** up while he still got a chance. Otherwise, it could get real ugly. Now, don't get it confused. These were threats being tossed around by T.I. He even told Charleston himself that he's got people who are ready to murk him if need be. Hell, he's ready to do that time himself. If I go to jail, it's going to be for something. It's going to be for something. I don't play no police game, man. Just know as you move around, man, man, life is real, bro. This shit ain't no motherfucking joke. This shit ain't no motherfucking game. Yeah, don't play with me and don't play with mine. Leave my motherfucking children at your motherfucking face, boy. Since Boosie's son was involved in the whole drama, T.I. wasn't exactly alone in this beef. Boosie was right next to him. Just a few days ago, Boosie came up with what would be the last message that he got for Charleston. In one of the interviews that he did, Boosie told it as simple and clear, Charleston White is as good as gone for him. I ain't really got no, I ain't really, you know, I ain't really got no opinion on because, you know, my opinion can send me to prison. So I ain't really, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't really got no opinion. Once you go to threatening people, kids, talking about you, I ain't the one gonna do all that. Certain people, you can't, you can't really express opinions on them. Now it's pretty clear that Charleston White had an agenda from day one. Boosie and T.I. believe that Charleston is doing some of these things just in order to provoke a reaction that would possibly send two of them to prison. However, they got other plans. Both T.I. and Boosie had their fair share of trouble with the cops. They know how it is, so they're keeping their mouth shut. Charleston, well, Charleston won't get what he wants, not from these two anyway. People noticed it too. They think Boosie played his cards perfectly in this last interview. Boosie handled this interview perfectly. Handled it like a pro. That's right, don't say nothing he can use against you. That was good advice by Boosie to his son. I hope others listened and heed his advice. It's not worth losing your life or going to jail. Charleston really made some dangerous enemies when he decided to call out King Harris and Tootie Raw. Even though they might still be young, their parents are still around and they're not someone who you want to pick a fight with. For the sake of everyone involved, we hope that the fire between all these people involved just calms down, man. Nothing else happens. Who knows what kind of damage could happen if this beef just keeps on rolling. Well, what y'all think about the fact that Charleston's all up in the business of T.I. on Boosie? You think he should back off or think he's got the right to call him out for everything they're doing? Let us know what you think all about it in the comments section below. If you like this video, make sure to check out this next one. And as always, you know what you gotta do. Keep it real, man.